That's it. Here goes nothing. Then this will work. Hell no. I've never done this before. Not like there's a man. <laughs> Sub-Zero? Can you hear me? You should. Sub-Zero. Yes, Smoke. How do you feel? Uh, what is it? I remember... the things I have done for Shao Kahn. He cannot be allowed to merge the realms. Aoka, how can Sub-Zero best help us? I do not know. My attempts to alter future events have had negative consequences. Sub-Zero should never have undergone this transformation. Enlisting him may only further divert the flow of time. We need intel, right? Let's send him back to Outworld undercover. They will be unaware of my defection. I could deceive them. Killed him in Earthrealm. He should have been saved for interrogation. He was formidable. I had no choice. Follow me. We must lead a new mission. What mission brings us here? I have scanned your neural net 520. Your neural modulators have been recalibrated. Impossible. The experience has been deleted from your system. Remove your access panel. <laughs> your programming has been corrupted. My soul was corrupted. Now it is cleansed. Hey there guys and welcome back to Mortal Kombat. It's time for Chapter 14, Cyber Sub-Zero. So, Cabal beat him in the last part, and they took him to the Earthrealm headquarters where Jax has been reprogramming him, so now he's back to his former self. Except he's still a robot. Or cyborg, or details. But yeah, he still has the slide he had when he was regular Sub-Zero. I think I said it before, but Cyber Sub-Zero's moves are kind of like a mix between Sub-Zero and Cyrax. I think... Maybe I can sh show off his bombs in a short moment. But first I'm gonna try out all of his regular attacks. Ice ball still there. He still had the slide. He has some really weird kick. And look, he can fly. He has jetpacks in his hands, just like Sector. Those are like the best places to have a jetpack in your hands. On second thought, no it's not, because then you can't hold a weapon. So you See, there's his bombs, just like Cyrax, except they knock people down or freeze them. I think it depends on the bomb or something. But, yeah. I must say, Cyber Sub-Zero is pretty good. I've played as better characters, but I've also played as worse. Oh, come on, Sector, just... Oh, yeah, I also still... Wait, I, I think uh, we saw his X-Ray already in the last part where we fought him and the AI used it. And yeah, he still has that ice... Well, he doesn't have ice clone, but he freezes himself and it has the same effect. Also, he now has a teleport like Cyrax. That's like the one thing that real Sub-Zero was lacking, a teleport. Because, let's face it, characters who have a teleport pretty much automatically have an advantage over other characters. Also, I might want to focus on winning this. Come on. Nice, first throw, he freezes him, and then he kicks them. Anyways, we win our first fight. Artificial enhancements are no substitute for the human soul.
Thank you, Sator. Finally! Come on, we gotta get him to the graveyard at St. Dominic's. On your feet, all of you! For what purpose? Don't care, really. So long as I get paid. He said on your feet. Come on, up, get up! Hey, what it does! I will help you. Will be punished. Oh man, are you shitting me? A fight against Kintaro and Goro. Jeez, they don't even punish you like that in arcade. You only fight one of them. Here you fight freaking both with a character I've just started using. So I have no freaking clue how to work this guy, and immediately you get pitted against the two overpowered sub bosses. Okay, the bombs are useful for zoning, but I don't know why. They're really not putting up much of a fight for some reason. Maybe the designers like knew... Okay, having them fight against Kintaro and Goro is a bit too mean, so we'll just... Have them fight like wusses the entire time. Eh. Yeah, his combo doesn't... Wait, it still did the same amount of damage. Just didn't do as much because he missed one punch. And they still have the cheap invincibility frames, which are... Yeah, still the same lethal combos. Okay, so they're not nerfed for this fight. Freeze him, come on, and uppercut. Wow, I actually won the first round. Amazing! Let's see how I fare in the second. Oh, behind you. Wait, how did he turn around in the blink of an eye? That does not make... Oh, crap. Yes, they have x-ray moves as well. Crush your head. Ah! And I'm still kind of... Like, thinking about why these cyborgs have bones. And did you see that? Their x-ray move does 53% damage. That's over half of your health. Jeez. And yeah, now I'm really hard-pressed to win this. Chances are, that's not looking up for me. But I still love teleporting behind them and then uppercutting them in the jaw. Like, do a little... Ah, crap. I figured that was gonna happen. Let's see. How do I do his x-ray? Oh, you need to use it while in the air. That's weird. That's not like any other character. Okay, freeze him. Uppercut. And then we'll probably give his x-ray a whirl. Because we need to pull out all the stops now. Fr create a big block of ice and smash it against the back of their head. And impale him using a big-ass ice sword. Cyber Sub Zero's X ray is awesome. Yeah. And I crap, switch down into Kintaro. Well, I beat Kintaro pretty easily in the first round, so. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, come on, let me take out Goro, please. Yes, yes. Yes, so much for Goro. And I barely lost any health, so. It's a fair fight now. Slide, crap, too late. Oh well. There you go. I don't like Kintaro. I mean, what the hell is he supposed to be? It's like... Goro slept with a tiger and... Out came Kintaro as a result. It's like, what the hell? Also, I need to start stepping up my game because I don't want to lose this. Nice, come on, yes, freeze him. Alright, the game's mine. Well, I actually beat those two without a continue. All those teeth and claws, yet still overmatched.
further, fiend of Outworld! You know, I've been ripping on Shiva because you fight her a crap load of times in the story, but I think we fought Ermac just as much, maybe even more. Yeah, I really need to do a tally of how much... Like, how many times you fight each character in story mode. Maybe I'll do that and discuss it, like, in the credits of chapter 16. Yes, we are nearing the end. After this video, there's only two more. So, yeah, Ermac. We fought him so many times before... Pretty much know his moves, green telekinesis stuff. Ah, crap. How does he even hit me if I'm not completely materialized yet? That's weird. Eh, well, whatever. Still getting used to all of Cyber Sub Zero's regular moves. I'm gonna say those are not too hot, but his special moves kinda make up for it. I mean, the bombs are great for, like, zoning opponents. The ice ball's useful for freezing. Teleport is always handy. Yes. Yes. And there we go. Round one is ours. And in between fight rounds, he just plays with his little bomb and stores it back in his chest. Like if they... If Cyber Sub-Zero and Cyrax store their... Oh, look, you can freeze them in midair. If they store their bombs there, then... Like... Where do all their internal organs or something go? Because in plenty of the fatalities, like, internal organs get ripped out, and they also work on the robots. They pull out some kind of black organ-looking things. So where do they keep them if they keep bombs in their chests? Yeah, that's something the designers probably didn't really think through all the way. But anyways, we win, so let's move on. You are not so fearsome. There he is. Oh, David, oh my yeah. god, thanks. I thought we were done. I must go. I need to investigate the graveyard. We'd go with, but we have to return to our unit. That is for the best. Good luck, man. <laughs> he ain't gonna need luck. Raiden, what is it? What did you see? One of Shao Kahn's Solnados, on a scale I thought unimaginable. All of Earthrealm's souls imprisoned, absorbed by Shao Kahn, multiplying his power. That is what Sub-Zero has found? No matter my efforts, the future remains in peril. How could I have failed Earthrealm? Do not lose faith in the spirits, Raiden. They will guide you, protect you. Sub-Zero, we will disrupt the Solnado. I will be there momentarily. Hurry! The spell appears to be nearly complete. Who is that? The one King of Warner. He is mine. You. You are not worthy of the name Sub-Zero. Who are you to judge? I wore those colors before you. Bihan? Yes, Kwai Liang. It is I. Quan Chi restored me. Restored? You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected me. For what end? To serve the Netherrealm and Outworld? It suits my purpose. But brother, we, we share blood. We are not brothers. Then I will not regret your defeat. So there you have it, Noob Cybot's Origins. Yeah. How many of you who have never, like, played an MK game or read up on the story or something expected that he was the original Sub-Zero who got killed by Scorpion? Well, there was that vision Raiden had that kind of gave it away. But I haven't, like, heard someone comment about it, so I'm guessing people didn't remember. But oh well, I think it's pretty neat that apparently he, instead of being an ice ninja, he came back as some kind of shadow ninja. Which is awesome. 
I mean, look at all the stuff he can do. Black holes. Like, create shadow copies of himself. That is cool. But, yeah. Uh, also, he has a very awesome x-ray move, but I don't think he's gonna show it this time around. Come on, can I... What the hell kind of wussy ankle kick was that? That was a lame one. Oh, freeze in midair, and there we go. Uppercut for the win. Well, maybe we will see Noob's X-Ray. And if we won't drink this fight, we'll just see it uh, in the montage. Yay, montage! Okay. Enough dawdling. Whoa, he's kicking my ass. That's a lethal combo. And the freaking black holes and all. Yeah, he has a pretty... Sweet teleport move. I played as noob in arcade already, and it is awesome. He just teleports, picks up the opponent, and does this pile driver thing with them. He's been doing it on me a couple of times already. Whoa, whoa, easy there, noob. Uh -oh. Ah, crap, he wasted my x ray. That could be a problem. Ouch. Crappy one. Yeah, yeah, you can create shadow copies of yourself. That's real nice. But I'm a robot that shoots ice, which is also badass. Even though he's a flawed copy of his former self. So, uh, I guess you could see it like that. I feel Cyber Sub-Zero is better than the original one. He can teleport, he has bombs. I think he's a bit stronger. Because, let's face it, he is made of metal now instead of just weak flesh. Uh, ice bomb. And he didn't notice the ice bomb, sucker. Yeah, and he can... Noob can do this, like, shadow football player charge move, which is pretty awesome. That's like his spammable projectile. Anyways, we won, and I will see you in the next part of Mortal Kombat. You are right. We are not brothers. Ratnasum ring natargo. Otashin Turan.